Hello, good afternoon folks, this is the Headbanging Zulu here, better known as Steve. Hope everybody's alright today. Um, you can tell by the decor, I'm home, back in Shropshire. I was down sorry before, but uh, I, I came home, I think it was the day before, yesterday on the Tuesday. And uh, I've been here ever since. Uh, just got a few things through the post I wanted to show. Um, one, one piece is the reason why I'm making this film. But... Uh, I know these. Uh, I did receive this uh, this uh, comic book from Andy. Uh, this is my co copy of Del Tells from the Dead Wax. Uh, Andy's kindly set, um, um, signed it for me, um, but uh, it's just absolutely amazing. The reason why um, I got it is our very own metal Mickey's in it, and uh, it's really great because he used to work at Sellerfield, and apparently it was about you too. But what makes me laugh, uh, thinking of Metal Mickey as Sellerfield is pretty much the same as me thinking of Homer Simpson when he's holding the isotopes with those forks, you know, in The Simpsons. And that image I can't seem to get out of my head. And, uh, you know, it's just it's just weird. But, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I really like this comic book. But it's signed. And thank you very much, Andy. It's absolutely brilliant. The artwork, second to none. Our Andy's really, really talented that way when it comes to drawing and stuff. If you check out his channel, you do see a lot of comic book action. You see a lot of record action as well. Um, but he's just an all-round nice guy. Cheers, Andy. Thanks a lot. Now, <coughs> the second CD. There's two CDs to be shown. Um, the first one is another Axel Rudy Pell. And uh, this one was so cheap, I couldn't um, refuse it, not at £5. Um, it hasn't got a very good booklet, so I shan't get it out. It's all just a lip sheet, that's all. But I've already checked it. But, um, yeah, it's a great, great artist. Um, if you haven't discovered Axel, he used to play in a band called Steeler. Um, then he went on his uh, solo path, and he's made a lot of albums. They're not the cheapest albums in the world. They're very expensive um, I was lucky enough to pick up his brand new one in the record store the other day. It's only been out about a month. But, uh, yeah, he can't beat a bit of Axel. He's just phenomenal. Um, Greg the Egg, um, Blackmore Rules, introduced me to that uh, him, and I haven't stopped listening to him since. He's just brilliant. Now, the reason why I'm doing this film is one of my favourite new wave of British heavy metal bands. I was expecting a CD from them. And this one got my blood um, running when I bought it. I think it was off eBay or Fleabay or whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, this Tokyo Blade um, pack. And what happened was Tokyo Blade are a bit like Diamond Head. Um, they were a British new wave, a British heavy metal band. They never had the luck they deserved. They should have got a lot better than they did. A couple of albums they made were really, really badly slated by the critics. Um, they were originally formed, in, I think it was about 82, 83, um, out of a band called Killer. And also, uh, they, they, didn't, they weren't originally t uh, Tokyo Blade. Uh, they were originally called Genghis Khan. But unfortunately, Steve Harris of Iron Maiden, he complained about the name. Because they used apparently Iron Maiden used to do secret gigs using Genghis Khan as their name, so they obviously changed it into Tokyo Blade. Uh, the first album um, that was a good one, but unfortunately I think the singer packed up. But they lost the singer. They've gone through a lot of different lineup changes and stuff like that. But uh, this band, a really really good band, um, I, I've always liked them, and um, I couldn't believe it when I saw this CD. But uh, I've actually read the booklet this morning. Um, but it's a, t a double CD. It's all like their EPs and album tracks, and you get it all on one uh, CD. I've been trying. I've got one album of theirs, which I've actually shown um, before on a previous video. But they're way out of my price range now because this stuff's going through the roof price-wise. You do get a killer little booklet with it. Um, the, all, all bit, but uh, it's just a great, great band. But uh, you know, they'll definitely be up there with Diamond Head with me as a band that should just should have got that bit extra push, you know, a bit of luck. Uh, apparently, had a bit, a lot of trouble with the record companies, not getting any money, uh, stuff like that, and that's what held them back. And 
also the various musicians that record companies didn't deem were good enough to um, sing on the albums and stuff but I really like them uh, they're just a good old honest um, British new wave band and I was really chuffed um, to get this CD um, because I say this is about all I could afford um, from them now I'm blessed enough to have one record but the other stuff now we look at £30 plus for an album uh, even more so I just got the CD but uh, yeah you get all the um, there's, I think they're still going because their last album was 2000 around about two, I think 2010 um, they released an album called Thousand Years I think or something like a sort of thing like that but they are still in I'm, I believe they still are, are going or unless they've split up since then but they're just a great band and uh, if you haven't discovered these I urge you to do so uh, they're really really good uh, another album I've been listening to this morning is this album now I've already held it up but this album's an absolute killer album and this is the uh, Fifth Angel album I, sh I held up the other week and I'm thoroughly enjoying this album I have cleaned it up and uh, it's just absolutely brilliant stuff um, so definitely look out for this one anyway that's my offering for today <clears throat> my next one is to uh, enter Rob's contest Black Star Vinyl that will probably happen either tomorrow or Saturday but uh, farewell my friends and uh, I hope everybody's enjoying each other and loving each other and uh, keep the faith and stay metal that's Renee's line but I'll use it today God bless, see ya